Hi again peeps, let's uh, figure out the electronics. Here I am assembling the Arduino and the CNC shield. Here you have the CNC shield. It goes on top of the Arduino. These are the stepper motor drivers. Of course I leave uh, links to all these products in the description of this video. Just uh, make sure to put these uh, stepper motor drivers uh, the right way inside. Uh, you have to look at the letters and uh, they have to be the right way up or down. When that's done I have some cables here. Uh, the plugs are bought uh, on the net, uh, links in the description. I'm cutting the cables so I can uh, hook my stepper motors to the cables. That's it, uh, everything is hooked up. This is the power supply I got uh, with the mas machine when I bought it. Um, it was a guy in Norway selling his old machine. Here we have the, the power supply for uh, the stepper motors uh, and the power supply for the spindle. I found a, a wire I can put in the Norwegian outlets and I hooked it up. fan was going and everything was okay. I checked the power for the spindle uh, and it regulated all the way up to 60 volts and down again. Then I checked the power on the cables for the stepper motors. It was 14 volts and uh, that is okay. I will put them in the input uh, on the Arduino CNC shield. 12 to 36 volts. Now I hooked up the spindle to test it out. And it went uh, okay. I sped it all the way up. Next, I hooked up all the uh, stepper motors. I marked them where I wanted them, uh, X, Y and Z axis. I found the pairs for the engines first. Uh, and I figured out online uh, where to hook up the pairs. Uh, some of the motors I had to change the polarity of the wires to get them running. So all I can say is uh, find a pair of your engines and uh, then hook them up. Now let's see what I had to do on the software side. I had to go on to the Arduino website. Links in the description. Here I downloaded the Arduino IDE software. I just downloaded it. You can donate if you want. You have to download this uh, if you want to put a program or uh, anything on the Arduino itself. Then I went to the GRBL Garble website, uh, links in the description, github.com, uh, and downloaded the Garble uh, code for the Arduino. After you've done that, you get this zip file and you extract it to wherever you want. Inside the folder, 
you have another folder called Gerbil Master. You go inside here. Inside this folder, you have a folder called Gerbil. And you copy this folder or cut it out to the destination of your installation of the Arduino program. And inside the libraries in the Arduino program, you paste it. When it's in there, you can start the Arduino program one more time. Inside the Arduino program, you have to check first if you, your Arduino is connected. You check this here. I have the Arduino Genuino, you know, and the COM port. Then you go to the libraries and find the garble folder and you go to, on the upload. Close the old window, maximize the new one and you have to compile it and verify its correctness, I'm supposed. It's just a uh, warning about low memory. When it's verified, you can upload it to your Arduino. You get the warning with low memory, but uh, that's okay. The next thing you have to do to go on the GitHub and download the Universal G Code Sender. I have the links in the description and you download the zip file. You extract the zip file to wherever you want and you get this file start bat. But before you do this, you have to remember you have to go to the java.com website and download Java. Unfortunately for many, but uh, that's what you have to do. Okay, go to the start bat file. And here you have the G Universal G Code Center. Be sure to have the right COM selected, uh, have the maximum uh, speed and you open. When you do that, you see your Arduino is connected. And here, as you can see on my engines, I have a connection. Uh, and you can uh, turn them or steer them by pressing the buttons. So, all is well here. All is good. I was very happy when this worked. And the next thing, I wanted to start a program. Uh, I used to, I do this by using Chili Pepper. It's a web-based uh, G-code sender. Uh, I go to the Garble workspace. When you go in here, you figure out uh, that you're not connected and you have to download a um, serial port server. It's down here. It's down here. And you download the one for your operating system. Once that is done, you get uh, once that done, you have to be sure to close the universal G code sender. This is important. And you get the zip file and you extract it and you get to uh, start the server by one file. When you've done that, 
you refresh the window in the chilipepper.com window here you see uh, that uh, it has uh, connected to your Arduino and you press it and everything is okay so I think it's just to start the program and here you see all the stepper motors going uh, according to the program I had a fault on one of my stepper motor drivers as you can see uh, I have ordered new ones it wouldn't drive my engine uh, I tried to clone the x-axis um, to get the two engines on the x-axis I also had a problem with my y-axis engine uh, this was quite weird because it was a new engine so here's the problem uh, when I uh, accelerate the speed it just stops I don't know why so if any of you know why this y-axis engine is uh, stopping like this please let me know that's it goodbye thanks for watching